Have you ever had someone x-ray on your Minecraft server? Or are you looking into ways to prevent players from cheating on your Minecraft server? Well in today's video, I'll be showing you how to prevent players from x-raying on your Minecraft server using a free edition of paper called Orbfuscator. If you get lost at any point throughout this video, make sure to join my Discord server, where I'll help you with the setup of this plugin to the best of my ability. Now, before I begin this tutorial, I think it's important for everybody to understand exactly what you are putting onto your server. What you will be enabling onto your server is something called Orbfuscator, which, if you know anything about programming, does exactly what an Obfuscator does. It sends an array of blocks around players whenever they begin to mine, disrupting the X-ray texture pack, and pretty much disabling X-raying in general. If this doesn't make any sense to you, the screenshots on screen here should give you a pretty good picture on what Orbfuscator does. Anywho, now that you understand what you are installing onto your server, the first thing you will need to do is to check your Minecraft server's version by typing the slash version command into your console. As you can see here, my Minecraft server's version is the latest paper version, and this is what you're going to need for this tutorial. It doesn't matter what Minecraft version you are running for this tutorial to work, but you need a version of paper to complete this tutorial. If you do have paper already installed, please skip ahead to the timestamp on screen right here, as the following will be a setup for paper. To download paper, navigate to the first link in the video description, you will be taken to a page that looks like this. From here, make sure you are on the paper tab right here, and then download the build closest to the top by clicking right here. And as always, don't forget to press save. After the server.jar is saved to your computer, you'll need to navigate to your Minecraft server's main directory. Inside of this main directory, you'll need to upload your newly downloaded server.jar file. After your server.jar uploads, you'll need to do one of two things. Delete your original server.jar file right here, so go here and then press delete, and then rename your newly uploaded server.jar file to server.jar, or whatever the name was of your original server.jar file, or if you have access to your startup parameters, go to your startup tab and change the server.jar file name right here to the jar you just uploaded to your server. Either one of these will work, I'm just going to use the first one because either way it's the same, but yeah. After you've made these changes, make sure you restart your Minecraft server. Once your Minecraft server has restarted and you are now running paper, you should now see a new file called paper.yml in your main directory. Open this file and scroll down to line 325 where you'll see a line called anti-x-ray. After you get here, all you need to do is change this false right here to true and then the engine mode to 2. After doing these changes, make sure you save your changes and restart your Minecraft server. And as you can see, just like that, your Minecraft server should be good to go. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and join my Discord server if you got lost at any point, as I'll help you set this up properly. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.